Hi, my name is Hamid Gamberi. I'm one of the lead instructors for Canada Energy Audit, and I'm going to be discussing how our five-day comprehensive course is structured. It was designed to give you guys some common questions that I've been asked. Uh, so I've decided to digitize those questions and bring it to your attention. A quick background, Canada Energy Audit is a registered service organization by Natural Resources Canada. We've been around for over 10 years. Uh, we have registered energy advisors across uh, the provinces of Ontario and BC. We're also known for our virtual live training session, how one can become a registered energy advisor. Common questions that I usually get on that, how is your course designed? We designed this course with a couple of key concepts in mind. It's a virtual live session, so we actually log in. You guys can call and log in from, from all over the world. The course is designed to fundamentally give you two exposures. Uh, the first three days is designed to give you guys theoretical knowledge so you can be ready to uh, to pass the two exams that are required for you to become a registered energy advisor. I'm talking about the, found the foundation fundamental exams and I'm also talking about the EA exams. So we, are, we have designed the course to be practical and strategic enough so you guys can actually pass those two courses. Um, because at the end of the day, if you cannot pass these two exams and you can't start your career, the remaining two days of the course is also designed to give you guys a practical and a walkthrough of two practice files. So for you guys to also get that comprehensive knowledge of what it takes to actually become an energy advisor and what, what an energy advisor does from the beginning, meaning showing up at the energy assessment and then all the way to modeling and issuing the reports. Some other common questions that, I always, that I'm always asked is, uh, does my background matter? I'm a, like, you know, I'm an engineer or I'm a computer scientist or I'm a, I have a PhD in microbiology. My background knowledge matter. I would say yes and no. I think, obviously, if you're coming from a building engineering background where, and you're fresh off universities and you have that background, uh, background knowledge when it comes to systematic testings and, and building science, of course, those are some valued assets. But we've had cases where we have people in, with PhD in micro, uh, microbiology passing the exams. We have had teachers pass the exams. So I think it really comes down to your mindset and your grit and how much you want it and how, how much you're willing to give it the time and attention that it deserves. Because we have designed this course irrespective to your background to ensure that you can pass the exams, get the practical knowledge, and hopefully if you choose to join us as a service organization, kind of, you know, kickstart your career and get you up and rolling. How do, how do I foresee the job market? I would say we are at the height of our industry in terms of programs that are available across Canada and more specifically in Ontario that will set you up for success. We've got the Canada Greener Home Grants Initiatives that is seeking demand for a lot of registered energy advisors. In addition to that, we also have the Enbridge's Home Energy Efficiency Rebate Program. So I would say the job market for foreseeable is good, but I always tell candidates that if you want to give this profession a shot, come in with minimum five year window time frame and come with, with, with thirst to learn and if you're willing to put in the time and if you have that appropriate level of patience, there is no way that you will fail within this industry. Thank you.